All right, here he is, the number one lightweight contender, making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. All right, here he is, the reigning defending undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Of course, the target is on his back. All eyes are on this man tonight as he tries to make good on yet another title defense. He has owned this division for some time. The question is, as the challenges get stiffer, can he remain the hunter? Several championship fights to his credit, a lot of 25-minute wars. As he gets older, the challenges get stiffer. We'll see how he handles this one tonight. the tape for this lightweight scrap. McGregor is three years his senior. He will have a four-inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, six losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland. Presenting the challenger, the notorious Connor. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 23 wins, one loss. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Mechakala, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Islam. Gotcha. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. So here we go with round one, and when you have what looks like a classic matchup with striker versus grappler, it doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plan seems pretty good. They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, to shot at double leg. Oh, he slams him down with authority. 
Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by McGregor. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. He's got the reach advantage, you might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jump. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the chest. Nice great punch. And he comes through with a big knee. Goes to the ankle kick now to get him down DC. We'll see how he chooses to proceed from here. Got the ankle kick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Back and forth we go here. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. So just over 20 total strikes and now landed for Conor McGregor. All right, he'll engage in a single combo tie and with authority goes to the judo throw right into side control. He's inside control, he's got a ton of options. Side control now. Trying to pass here, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. The next with a right. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and bring down big strikes on your opponent. Ooh, what a punch. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, he does it again, takes this fight right back to the ground one more time. This is exactly what he told us on Thursday, the game plan he's executing to perfection. And he's doing it exactly as he said he hoped it would go. He's getting to the legs, getting fantastic angles, and just wrestling beautifully. The takedowns are amazing, but it's the ground strike that he's landing once he's getting there that is truly a sight to behold. All right, so good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy now looking to do something with that left arm. He's isolating a Kimura attack. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Submission defense there. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half. Court. Absolutely more offensive options because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand up, get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hook. So get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free flowing than the half guard in the side control because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use yours. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by McGregor. Round two straight ahead. And it could very well be anyone's fight here. All right, so there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action, and if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that round. It's like we're watching the NCAA wrestling tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fight. 
he's able to change levels, drive into his opponent, and secure takedown after takedown. All right, here we go with round two. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Oh, hook to the body here, but strong defense by McGregor. Oh, collar top. Oh, there you go. Yeah, swept him right there. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. A strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by McGregor. Volume strikes continue to rain down. His opponent pretty helpless there on the ground. His opponent is helpless. He's been hurt. He's been battered. He's been beat. And now this guy's just trying to find the right time to land the strike that is the fight. Allows him to get right back up. He did a great job securing that ankle pick, but did not react quick enough to secure top position. All right, so just like that, back to a standing position. We will see who has the advantage. Nice. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Now, Conor McGregor's hands have never looked sharper, and perhaps it's all that boxing preparation when he fought Floyd Mayweather back in the day. He felt like a lot of that would translate to mixed martial arts. And if this fight is any indication, he was prophetic with those words. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Gets the elbow up into the target. Big knee there to the chest. Ball went for the spinning kick there, telegraphed it a little bit, no good. Whoa! Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, his opponent side has done a good job of getting back to his feet, and just as I say that, he landed on his back again. Another takedown over and over and over. Look, man, I'm a wrestler, and I love takedowns. So come on, do something different. Press punch. Do one of the special moves. I mean, geez, uh, take down that take down. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He's to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. Oh, he might have got him with a choke. Right into side control, upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out. Just go for the finish. So a much different approach from him here in round two. It took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, it's the same story just told on a different day. Takedown after takedown after takedown. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. One of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC. And you're seeing one. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Nice hammer fist. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control. The grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? No when to hold. Oh, you gotta watch him attack his submissions. He throws the legs up to try to get a triangle choke here. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now trying to see that. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. 
right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Ten minutes in the books. Championship fight. He's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Oh, that was right. So a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hip, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Some big punches raining down here, picking the spots well, and hasn't chosen to engage his opponent on the ground necessarily, posturing up and, and making these shots count. I mean, why would he when he's having so much success going in and fighting in this exact same manner that leads him to be ahead in the fight right now? Good, solid strike on the ground. Pretty good work off of the bottom here by McGregor. Nice hammer fist. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, wow. Oh, we're getting a finish here. It's in there deep. There you go. Somehow stays in the fight. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. got to defend. But you can see him now start the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Well, he's got his back now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. McGregor gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Oh! Oh! He's on his hook now. He turned his entire body into that uppercut. And it landed exactly Of options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his ground and pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back in position, build posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, a lot of top pressure being applied here. Now into his mouth. He's got on bar. He's attacking it on it. Oh, 
Gotta be careful, Armbar. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off, and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. Oh, now he's in trouble. Really remarkable to watch. Final seconds of round three. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship right, rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Big punch land over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Quick entry to get it. That single. was a great single. Oh, 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 oh. Slams him on his back. What a takedown. How's that feel? Watch out for the setup here, DC. I know you don't pay your bets, but I bet you a hundred bucks goes for another takedown here. If I don't pay, then why are you betting me? I'll yell in the octagon and go, man, don't shoot so that I can get paid. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the legs, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one of oh. Lightweight champion of the world, an outstanding performance, horn to horn here tonight. He was on point early and late as he gets the win by TKO. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 42 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO. Tears of joy and hard to blame him. We have a new UFC lightweight champion. The celebration is on, and a life's mission comes to a head tonight as he gets it done. He knew he was going to get it done. He told us all he would get it done. I am the best fighter in the world. It is just a matter of time until I get the belt wrapped around my waist tonight. He got that done. Look at him celebrate with his corner. Those guys all believe he got the job done. 